Whose pen is this? Yes, my pen. My pen. See, whose school is this? Our school. Our school. Then, whose book is that? Your book. Oh, good. Your book. Then, whose pause is that? Yes, he must. He must pause. Listen. How many words here? First one. Is it a noun? Is it a noun phrase? Yes. Now, which is the head noun? Pen. What about this one? It's an additional part. Then here, which is the... Here it's noun. Here it is additional part. Here, which is the head noun? Yes, school is the noun. Additional part? Uh. Then here, book is the noun. Here, your book. He must pause head noun. He must is additional part. And what category does it come? Does this uh, my come? I asked whose answer to the question whose showing possession. Whose is the pen? My pen. Whose school? Our school. Whose book? Your book. Whose purse? He must purse. So these words showing possession. So words to describe possession, we call them possessives. Ye and the articles which can appear before the head noun. Secondly, what, which category can come before this head noun? Yes, possessives. Articles, possessives. Then, next one. This flower. This. That boy. These boys. More than one. These boys. Those girls, more than one. Which is the head noun here? Flop. Here, a modifying word I use here. Which is that? Yes, this. What about here? That. Boy head noun. That, modifying word or modifier. Then boys, these boys. Then girls, those girls. I use the word this, that, these, those. You know, showing. I show this, this flower, this boy. That's showing and describing. These boys, they are naughty boys. Those girls, smart boys. Those girls, smart girls. So, this, that, these, those. That means showing something and explaining, describing. So, showing something and describing something, we call them demonstratives. They are called the demonstratives. Now, a noun phrase, different category of words can appear before the head noun. That's a modifying words which is used before the head noun. Before. Now, you know, this uh, pre. We can use the word pre. 
What's the meaning, uh, meaning of this sub prefix pre? Pre COVID condition. You now, this we all are very panicked about this pandemic. You know, so pre COVID period. What about our feeling? We were very relaxed and lavish in spending money. Now, what about now? So we are very panicked that what may be the after this uh, this COVID-19 pandemic. So no idea. It's unpredictable. When can it be? That uh, post-COVID condition is right. It's unpredictable. The entire globe is trying its best to find a vaccine. So far, so far we have been succeeded here. It's very un unfortunate that now this still we can't uh, eradicate this COVID-19 pandemic. That is pre-COVID condition. We were very relaxed, happy and uh, lavish in spending money. But what about this post-COVID? That means uh, after. Pre before, post, after, post-mortem, you know, post-mortem. That means examining after deaths, post-mortem. Here, this first one, articles. We discussed articles, A and the. Second one, we discussed, yes, possessives. Example, my book, her book, then our school, etc. Then we discuss demonstratives. They are appearing. What about the position of this here? Before or after this? Before. What say word we can use? Pre. Pre and what about its function? Modifying words. So they are called pre-modifiers. Pre-modifiers. These articles, processes and demonstratives together we can call a name. They are called determiners. They are called determiners. We can together call determiners. Now determiners can appear before a head noun. Then, you know, a smart boy. Smart boy. Which is this? Word class, does it come under? Yes, it's an adjective. So, determiners can appear before a head noun. An adjective can appear before a head noun. So, a noun phrase. It's a noun phrase. Why? Yes, there's a head verb. Head noun, then some modifiers. A noun phrase with a head noun which is preceded by some modifiers. They are called pre-modifiers. Post for the time being, let's discuss this pre-modifiers. Later we can discuss post-modifiers. You got the terms? Pre-modifier, pre-modifiers and post-modifiers. In between, the head noun. It's a noun phrase. All of you clear? Yes, good. Now, you know, about this COVID, we, we people, we salute the Corona barriers, the COVID barriers. We salute the corona virus. Oh, 
Okay. Now, don't you remember this story, the mysterious picture? What was the attitude of the archduke towards this uh, tile? Yes. The archduke treated tile how? Yes, very decently. Treated tile decently. But at last, what did this uh, tile do there? Yes, he cheated, but he cheated the all the courtiers there. Oh, all the okay. Hey, listen. We salute the Corona values. Who? Who salute? Yes, we. We salute. Whom do we salute? Yes, the Corona values. Who are these Corona values? Yes, the doctors, the um, you know this uh, the policemen. Our government, then all fellow beings who work behind this, controlling the this uh, this corona, the spreading of this. Now it's known that this coronavirus is spreading in a fast, very fast. That is super spreading, and we are on the edge of this uh, community transmission. Each and every person, we we should take. Precaution not to be infected. It's our responsibility each and every person. Okay, so you know, uh, even if their life is in threat, this Corona warriors, the medical team, the medical staff, the police department, the collector of each district, they are this Corona warriors. So we have to salute them. We salute the Corona warriors. This our chief minister salute, salutes the Corona warriors, our prime minister salutes the Corona warriors, all salute the Corona warriors because they are uh, our protectors. Then next one, who treated, yes, the new treated, whom tile. Then, but what about he? Who is this he here referred to? Yes, Tile. Tile cheated whom all the courtiers there. Okay. Now, how many noun phrases we already learned? A noun phrase can be a word, a group of words. Right. Now, in the first sentence, tell me, is it noun or a pronoun? Yes, it's a pronoun. So a noun phrase can be a noun or a pronoun. So here it's this pronoun. Is it a noun phrase? Yes. Noun phrase. Now I write it shortly. Noun phrase. In. Okay, now it's noun phrase. Then is there only one noun phrase here? No. Then which is the next noun phrase here? Yes, it's also a noun phrase. The corona virus. Which is the her noun here? Yes, virus. And what about, what about the pre modifiers? Corona, the corona. It's a pre modifiers. Then next one. Second. Which is a noun phrase here? Pick out the noun phrase. The ask joke. It's also a noun phrase. Then, any other noun phrase here? Yes. Tile. It's also a noun phrase. What about third one? Yes. Here, it's the noun phrase. Noun phrase can be a naming word or a pronoun. Right. 
this uh, he, we, pronouns. The ask you, it's a noun. Then, what about this uh, next noun phrase here? Yes, all the courtiers there. It's also a noun phrase. Now, here, it's a naming word. Values, it's a naming word. Can you pick out a doing word here? Yes, salute is a doing word. It's a doing word. Doing word we call verb. We can discuss in detail later. For the time being, you just understand the doing word. The category or this word class is verb. Here, the doing word is salute. Then second one. Yes, doing word. Here, yes, it's a doing word. Who does this action? Yes, we does the action. That means the person who does the action. That is called the doer of the action. Doer. Who is the doer in the first sentence? Yes, we. Then, the corona warriors. Is it the doer here? No. Then, the person or thing. Here, person. Who suffers from the action of the doer is the object of the sentence. The doer and the sufferer. Who is this doer? Grammatically, we call the doer the sub. Subject of the sentence. Subject of the sentence. Simply we can say, say, do of the action. And then what about this sufferer? We call them the object of the sentence. So, sim simply easily you can understand. You ask yourself a question. Who? Answer to that question gives the subject of the sentence. Who? We. Then you ask yourself the question, whom? The coronavirus. Answer to the question, whom? Or what? Gives the object of the sentence. Secondly, who? The asked look. Then, whom? Time. Which is the subject here? Yes. Asked. Then, which is the object here? Time. Third one. More. Moving on to the third sentence. Which is the subject of the sentence? Yes. Who? He. Whom? All the audios. Now, another example. The snake. Killed a rat. Who? The snake. Whom or what? Yes, a rat. Subject, object. Clear? Subject of the sentence and object of the sentence. Here the point I'm going to tell you. It is a noun phrase can be the subject of a sentence, the, the object of a sentence as well. A noun phrase can function as the subject of a sentence, at the same time, the object of a sentence. It's also a quality or a, one of the features of this noun phrase. 
To sum up, we can say, point out the features of a noun phrase. What are the features of a noun phrase? Okay. Okay, let's sum up the points we discuss here. First, parts of speech, there are eight numbers. Noun, verb, then adjective, adverb, then pronoun, preposition, conjunction, interjection. Then noun, noun is a naming word. It can be the name of a person, place, thing, quality, then feeling, etc. Then next one. Noun, uh, pronoun. Pronoun is a word which is used instead of a noun. Example, he, she, they. It's of subject pronoun and object pronoun. Then personal pronouns. Three types. They are first person. The person who is speaking. First person, I, singular, we, plural. Then second person, the person who we speak to or who is spoken to, the person or thing who is spoken to, that's you. Then third person, the person or things we speak about. Then person pronoun, subject form and subject pronoun and object pronoun. Subject pronoun, I. Object pronoun, V. Sorry, I, me. Then plural, V, as. You, all, same. You itself. Then third person, he. It's object pronoun, him. Then they. It's object pronoun, them. Then next one, uh, noun, phrase. Phrase. Phrase means a group of words which gives a meaning but it's not complete. Then what's a noun phrase? Noun phrase can be a single word. Word. You know, he, Arun. It's a noun phrase. At the same time, it can be a group of words. My book. A beautiful flower. A smart boy. The uh, famous school, all these are noun phrases. And these noun phrases, there are some pre-modifiers and post-modifiers. Now we discussed only the pre-modifiers. What are those pre-modifiers we discuss here? Yes, these are articles. A and the, they are called Articles. We can learn it later in detail. Then, next one. Possessives. My book. Showing words showing possession. My book. Your pen. Their school. Showing possession. I don't uh, class. All these words show possession. So, they are called possessives. Articles. Possessives. Then, demonstratives. Showing something and describing. This book. These boys. Those girls. That boy. This. That. Then. These. Those. Plurals. They are together called. Our articles. Possessives and demonstratives. Which we together call. Determiners. So what about the function or the position of these determiners? They are pre-modifiers. That means uh, modifying words which is used before the noun. That's, that noun is preceded by these pre-modifiers and succeeded by post-modifiers. Now we discussed only these pre-modifiers. Then adjectives can also appear before the noun. Smart boy. Smart classroom. Now we are in smart classroom. So this is adjective. Then noun phrase is over. Then last one. Subject and object of a sentence. Subject means uh, the doer or the uh, person who does an action. That's a subject of a sentence. Then object. 
Object means the sufferer of the action of the subject. There is a doing word there. And who does that action? That is the subject. And uh, who is the sufferer of that action? That is the object. See, how can you find out very easily? You ask yourself two questions. What are those questions? Who? Answer to the question, who gives the subject of the sentence? Then whom or what? Answer to the, to the, the question, who, whom or what is the, an, the answer, object of the sentence. Now, here we discuss the subject and object in the sense that the noun phrase can be the subject of a sentence. Noun phrase can be the object of a sentence. Now, in brief, we can see the features of a noun phrase. What are those features? First of all, this most of them have this singular. A noun can have this singular and plural forms. You know that examples, pen, pens. Then, next one, second one, they can express gender, masculine and feminine gender, he, she, then man, woman. They can express this uh, uh, gender. Then, third point, they can be used as a subject of a sentence. For example, we salute the corona values. Here, this we functions as the subject of the sentence. Again, they can also be used as the object of the sentence. Here in the sentence, we salute the corona values. Here the corona values, which is also a noun phrase, can function as the object of the sentence. Then, last point, they have possessive forms. As we discussed, my pen, his book, they are school. All these are possessive forms. That's all. Okay, I hope all of you, it's clear for all of you. Okay, let's wind up here. Thank you all. Okay.